That's right, you were reading the sign because we are in the place. We're at Humphrey's Barbecue with Nicole. How are you hey, doing, Greg. Nicole? Good to see you again. Thanks for visiting us today uh, on know. such an overcast day. It was an overcast and unexpected visit, but I had to come up and pick something up. But before I show you that, I want to show you this. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. All right, which box is this, Nicole? This for, is the battle box. This is the original battle box. This is where it all started. This is our very first size that we made um, back six years ago. And um, it's still one of our top selling sizes. This battle box and the pint are our number one, number two size selling smokers. If you have to see these in person to understand how completely solid as a rock these are built. They can literally fall off a truck and won't really hurt them. <laughs> There's one inside. That's right? happened recently, not their fault. But so if you're not familiar with this, this is a smoking cooking machine. Nicole, tell us what we're looking at here. So uh, your cook chamber here is gonna hold six uh, rack locations. So they're all interchangeable. Uh, and they hang, they suspend, so they don't fall out. That's genius. Like, you have thought of every little detail on this. <laughs> but you can see just by the welding and the machining on this, and the uh, the absolute, I mean, how much does this weigh? Like 500? Yeah, uh, this, this one here weighs about 375. Yep. That's solid. Yeah. That's a solid meat cooking. So machine. these have a uh, welded frame inside the, the battle box, the pint, the downing piece, that line all has an internal roll cage. Um, and that's what makes it such a heavy duty, duty smoker. And these are reverse flow. And, and what that means is that the fire box area is sealed off from the cooking chamber um, by use of this water pan here. Um, so what happens is the smoke and the heat rise up inside an internal channel inside of here and that channel goes on, along all three sides and it rolls up over the top of that cook chamber down through the food and exits of the bottom so it gets sucked out the back down there. yeah right down there so it actually creates a convection style of cooking which really evens out the temperatures from top to bottom front to back side to side unbelievable design yeah. i just it's so stunning to look at it's just, a, it's like a race car to me. This is like a sports car. <laughs> what I, what I, to, the words that come to me are overbuilt, over engineered, like, it, like, whatever part, like, you would think to put it on a, on a, on a unit, it's like, this is the part times seven. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Right? Thank you for, yeah, yeah, you thank you for put, recognizing that. You could that. put rails in here. Oh, yeah. And they could be flimsy, but I mean, these things. It's yeah, it's not moving nice. anywhere. Like this, the, the, the pan, your, your coal pan, this thing, I mean, look at the steel bars on the bottom of this. This thing probably weighs 30 pounds. Mm -hmm. It is solid as it can possibly be. I think that's going to last forever. Nicole, what, what, what was the, what got you guys started? Oh, geez. Long story short, um, so seven years ago, we developed a little giftware item. It's called the Grill Kebab because um, we did a lot of trade shows for the gift industry and it was a new product for us so we submitted it to the new product um, portion of the um, trade show we were doing and we won best new product for that year and so we kind of got excited about the barbecue like what else could we do for them and um, so we, we made a couple other little accessories and we got together with some local loggers in the area and they put together a chip and chunk package for us and we became Humphrey's Chips and Chunks that's sort of where we started six, seven years ago. And I've seen ago. the chips and chunks back. Yeah. I can get those at the Richdale down the street from my house. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. They're yeah. there for sale right there yeah. on the yeah. shelf. That's and so, cool. um, so we met other barbecue teams and other barbecue enthusiasts, and they brought the, us their smokers made by other manufacturers and said, hey, can we do things a little modify differently? Or, yeah. fix it, or fix it, it, fix it, and modify it. And, um, and then light bulbs. Boom, it, boom, boom, yeah, boom. How can we do it better? That, that's always been our motto moving forward in the last seven years is how can we do it better? And, and not just with their products, but with our own products. And, and with the, the new item that Craig's purchased, and we went through many revisions with that on how can we make it better during our testing. And that's where we've, we've come out on that new product the, that we're about to show the, you. The way I would classify it, is no compromise. Yeah, there, no. there is no, there's no compromise. If you want the best, no corners cut. right? <laughs> not, I mean, you cannot cut a corner and have a product like this. Yeah, no. you can, but then that's you know you end up doing something that won't get the And then it, the Humphrey's name wouldn't be on it. <laughs> you know how solid, how solid that thing is. 
But we got something else to show you, Joey. Let's, let's do it in a second clip. Okay, okay. We'll, do, we'll do the next one separate. I like Come on, it. tease it. My goodness. Look at this action right here. It's got you smoky plate. Look at that. Ooh. That is just beautiful work. The logo, everything's powder coated. It's handles. Look at this thing spit. It's 400 pounds on this. Look at that. It's nothing to me. You think like that's heavy and that's cumbersome, but it's just not. Nicole, there, there, you, you can custom. On these there's a lot of different things. stuff you can customize as well, right? Oh, absolutely. We what have, are some of the type of things yeah, you can do? We have um, uh, some stainless grab bars that we can uh, upgrade to. We can upgrade to stainless steel uh, doors, and the whole cook chamber can be stainless. We have drop down counters. The shelf. Yep, the counter that will just drop down out of the way so you can move it into a trailer and go tailgating or. Afterwards, you can just lift it up. And it I saw different colored ones too. Oh yeah, so um, this is our gunmetal gray and uh, the battle box and, and that line up, you can customize. We have a gazillion different color choices and textures and metallics. So you can pretty much pick any color you want. Exactly. That's yeah. awesome. I gotta tell you, I love this combo. I love the, this, this flat, the flat black, black like yeah. murdered out. Oh, it's just so beautiful. This is fantastic. Well, there you go. A nice little quick peek to Nicole and Chad's beautiful work. This is a piece of art. I would put this in my living room. My wife would leave me there. <laughs> I would totally just put this in the living room and just have people come over and look at it. You know? All right. Day. TMG, baby. <laughs>